This quick edit tip will help you pace your edits. All movies are, or should be, a series of arcs. You start it at one level, build to a climax, and then you have to come down and start it over again. If you stay at one level, it won't sustain. The best way to create these arcs is by giving the audience time to laugh, think, and feel after impactful moments. Essentially, you're manufacturing pauses to amplify the preceding action or dialogue, thus organically giving it more dramatic power. Let's dive deeper into some situations where you'd want to give the audience that time. First, after a dramatic moment. It gives the audience a chance to gauge the character's reaction and possibly empathize with that character's feelings, further investing your viewers in the story. In this scene from Jack Reacher, Jack and Helen are going to discuss their plan for gathering evidence for the case that they're investigating. After Jack gets tired, he'll send Helen on her way, but not before an ambiguous moment where there may or may not be romantic intent. Here's how that could play. You have his credit card statement? I can get it. Why? I need a list of all the places he hung out. Bars, bowling alleys, strip clubs, gun ranges. Anywhere someone would remember him. What do we hope to find? I need some sleep. You too. You don't really think I'm gonna... Be back to pick me up at seven. Yep, absolutely. It's not bad. Helen's reactions, as she seemingly misinterprets Jack standing over her, convey her confusion. Then, she exits the room, and we switch to the wide shot of the car as we go to the next scene. But there's an even better option. In the theatrical version of the film, the editor added an extra shot outside the hotel room to give us more time to mull over exactly what that somewhat flirtatious gesture might mean to Helen. You have his credit card statement? I can get it. Why? I need a list of all the places he hung out. Bars, bowling alleys, strip clubs, gun ranges. Anywhere someone would remember him. What do we hope to find? I need some sleep. You too. You don't really think I'm gonna... Be back to pick me up at seven. Yep, absolutely. The range of emotions Helen is feeling, amusement, embarrassment, attraction, is much more robust with that added shot. This solitary moment with her strengthens the bond that the audience has with the character. Next, you'll want to give your audience time after a comedic moment. In this scene from Van Wilder, Van's antagonist, Richard, will experience some pretty severe gastrointestinal distress in a rather public setting. In the next scene, Van is going to be sitting in a class listening to his professor. Let's see how this broad comedic moment could play out. You look like you want to get something out, son. Oh my god! God, that's Richard. Ah! Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. It's an outrageous gag that's sure to cause laughter and a big reaction in a theatrical setting. As a matter of fact, the laughter and commotion might be so loud that any lines occurring directly after the joke, in this case, the professor's lines, will go unheard. So let's do what the editor did for the theatrical version of the film and add several shots between the end of the scene with Richard and the start of the professor's dialogue. You look like you want to get something out, son. Uh. Oh my 
God! That's wretched. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. Now, we've got an extended series of shots, including an entirely new short scene with Gwen writing Van's father. And we've added some shots in the classroom before the professor starts talking. Since these shots are visual only, in that they include no dialogue, we have time to get acclimated to what's happening before we're bombarded with new sonic information that we might miss. As an editor, most of the time, you're sitting alone in an empty room. So don't lose sight of the fact that there's going to be many occasions where you'll want to take your audience's reaction into account when you cut a scene. Finally, you'll want to give your audience time after a frenetic action sequence where high stakes or high conflict encounters are resolved. In this scene from Once Upon a Time in the West, we're going to see a very high action shootout between Harmonica and three bandits it's gonna release the tension that's been building over the first 13 minutes of the film. Let's see how that could play out. Now, there's nothing wrong with this version of the scene in a narrative sense. The last bandit collapses, and we cut to a close-up of a possibly wounded harmonica. But, in the theatrical version, the editor cut in a shot of a windmill slowly turning before we see harmonica's eyes opening. The tranquil windmill shot here gives the audience time to catch its breath and absorb what's happened. It's very common to see shots of nature or similar still life shots used for this purpose. The windmill shot has the bonus of prolonging the suspense as to whether Harmonica has survived the gun battle at all. Don't feel bound to whether or not a shot provides new story information. Sometimes a shot can just serve the vital purpose of letting the audience digest what has happened. When you're editing, there can be a temptation to deliver information as quickly as possible so that your audience won't get bored. But remember, there are moments that might require the audience to think about something, laugh out loud, or otherwise process what's going on. Be sure to allow ample time for the audience to regain composure after these moments before presenting any additional important information or dialogue. Hey there. For tons more free editing training, head over to our website at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. Here you can download free editing guides along with high quality video training courses created by our team of professional Hollywood editors. 
Our tutorials cover a wide range of editing topics, like cutting awesome movie trailers, editing action scenes, how to work with music and sound design, and a lot more. All of these free guides and videos are available at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. I'll see you next time.